with Jan Oki Jonsson, who is Managing Director of Saab. And Jan Oki, the Geneva Motor Show, a very important time in the motor industry. Normally you'd be here to tell us all about the new cars and the car behind you, for example, the 93X. But these are dramatic days and a crucial moment for Saab. Oh, absolutely. And Geneva typically is the show where everybody is showing their new cars and the new technology. But I think this year will be more focused on the, how the business is and what's happening uh, to the various manufacturers, including Saab. We're, of course, very proud to actually show the 93X for the first time uh, for journalists as well as the public. So we'll try to focus on that while we deal with the other issues as well. You've gained a huge amount of support around the world uh, over the last uh, week and a half uh, since the announcement was made for Saab's new independent status. You'll be introducing three uh, major models over the next 18 months. This is, of course, one of them. And people are starting to say this thing, this new independent Saab, they're starting to think it can work. Oh, absolutely. We at Saab believe that it's a, it's a good direction for us. And what has happened in the last couple of weeks is, of course, the tremendous support that we have got from customers, from dealers, from other people that have a, you know, a little bit of a soft spot for Saab shows that Saab has a bright future as an independent organization, absolutely. Are you getting the support you need from within Sweden, the Swedish government, for example? Well, we're already in the middle of negotiations with the government and uh, they have announced their 28 billion package that we're of course trying to get a portion of that would be necessary to complete the vehicles that uh, we are in the middle of or in the final stage of developing and I, I feel pretty confident about that at this point. Do you need a major investor to come in and, and pick up a large portion of the Saab equity? Well, GM has announced that they would like to divest Saab from their portfolio of brands and companies. And uh, so we're actively out looking for uh, a new investor that can take on the nice brand that we have and, of course, the, the product portfolio that we're about to, to finish off at this point. So what now needs to happen? Indeed, what's going on behind the scenes? Because I know you've been very, very busy. Well, the focus right now is to continue the applications for the European Investment Bank loans together with the government, as well as actively now pursuing uh, candidates that we have already got and that we hope that we're going to get also in the future as it relates to a new ownership structure. And those are the two priorities for the time being. And there's no shortage of interest? Uh, surprisingly, people are knocking on our doors even if we haven't actively been out there. So I have a lot of confidence that we'll find a good structure going forward.